Stadium Golf Center presents Top It Off with Landon Etchings. On today's show, the 2012 San Diego Junior Masters Champion, Jonah Teixeira. And now, on location from the beautiful Carlton Oaks Country Club in Santee, California, here's your host, Landon Etchings. Hello and welcome to Top It Off. Today we are live on location at Carlton Oaks Country Club for the Future Champions Golf San Diego Junior Masters. And who better to talk to us about the tournament than the tournament director, coordinator, membership thing? He does it all. Antron Williams. Antron, thanks for coming to the show. What's going on, buddy? We appreciate you coming yeah, down no, here. Dude, thanks for coming out. The kids are loving this stuff. Yeah, They're so I mean, fired this, up. This event's pretty well run. I mean, you guys got people from all over the place. Tell us about it. Fifth annual San Diego Junior Masters are uh, here at Carlton Oaks. It's our fifth year here doing it in a row. Um, 25 different countries. 490 players registered. It's been, uh, it's been a great run. It's been really exciting. And, and Carlton Oaks here, you guys picked a great venue because this is a tough golf course. This course is hard. I don't play here. This course is hard. Yeah. This course is really hard. It's really hard. And, and you had some really good scores day one. And so I yeah. imagine day two is playing a little tougher. Day two is playing a little tougher. There's some, there's some tough pins out there. Uh, we set up the golf course a little differently to kind of give the kids the feel of an actual, you know, tour event. You know, they move tees and move pins. And so it's, it's a little different challenge today. We're pretty excited about it. I see. I see the pin on 18 behind us here. It's pretty impressive. There. That's going to be a make for a good finish. Yeah, if I was playing here, I'd just play 17 holes and just shut it down. So just walk yeah. in after 18. Yeah, I'd probably yeah, do the same. Hole. I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> there. Now, uh, Antron, you do a lot with the Future Champions yeah. Golf. There, you again, you do a, a, a whole lot of uh, the coordination and the yeah. tournaments and the stuff. And not only do we do tournaments, we also do camps. We do camps. We do clinics, private lessons, group lessons, parent junior group lessons. We did it all. I mean, we try to make it an all-inclusive event. It's uh, Future Champions is really a, a it's a family deal. So, um, not only is it for the kids, it's for the parents. We want everyone to be involved, and uh, everyone to have some fun. Now, what age groups are we talking? What's our youngest Future Jeez. Champions member? I would say, oh, the youngest member, probably five. We may get a four-year-old. Yeah, right. Occasionally, we actually do. It's it's actually really funny. They're they're kind of small. They can't pick up the glove. But cool. it's uh it's classic. Yeah. But then it goes all the way up to 18. And uh, this year, we're actually adding our first college event. So we're pretty excited. We go to PGA West right after this. And that's where the, the first college events yes. going to be out, out yep. of PGA West. Out there. Absolutely. Now, a lot of the idea with these tournaments here is to get these kids to go on to uh, to college. Name Correct. some of the kids that have uh, come through Future Champions Golf and on to college. Oh, God, we got a lot of kids. Like Todd Beck, to I know. Uh, Todd Beck, San Diego State, uh, All-American. We have kids that are leaving this year. Uh, Danny Ochoa, USC. Um, kid going to UCLA. So we're really excited. And, and it's not even really just a big school. we got a lot of kids going to smaller schools. We just encourage all the kids to, to go to A school where they can play, and uh, that's probably the most important part for that. Now, Future Champions Golf, where, what's the, we started it 2000? 2000, 2004. Four, and 2004. now what's the, what's the future plans for it? Uh, we originally started as just an academy instructional program. Uh, we started the, the tours here in uh, 2007, so we just want to keep growing, uh, go to some new cities, and you know, play some new competition. It's pretty, pretty exciting. So, answer on the Future Champions Golf, how do we get in contact and learn more about that? Uh, website, futurechampionsgolf.com. Uh, it's pretty simple there. Everything's spelled out, tournaments, clinics, classes, lessons. Uh, you can shoot us an email, give us a call. I mean, I take calls pretty much all day long. So, if I'm in the middle of dinner with my friends, I'll shut it down. I'll call you right back. It doesn't matter. Give us a call. It's easy. I'm, I'm pretty sure I lose friends just about every week. But it's fun, and uh, we make sure everyone's taken care of. Well, Antron Williams, thanks Later. for coming down. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Hey. Appreciate it. Antoine Williams, he's the head guy for Future Champions Golf, tournament coordinator, director. He does it all. You want to get more in contact with him, go to futurechampionsgolf.com. We're going to take a small break right now. We're going to go to Graham Sterling. He's our on-course reporter, and he talked to some of the players before they went out yesterday. So we're going to find out how that went. Graham? From San Luis Country Club, we've got Taylor with us shooting at 69 today. Very impressive, my friend. Thank you. It was a, it was a good day. Tell us about the round. Um, well, early on, I, uh, the wind was died down, so I was, conditions were pretty easy. And I was chipping the ball pretty close when I was missing the green. And in the back nine, uh, I was making some putts. All right, well, thank you for uh, spending some time with us, and best luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right, fresh off his first round, we've got Aaron joining us. Aaron, what were the conditions like today? Uh, conditions were good. We, uh, we had an early morning tee time, so that was definitely an advantage. The wind's starting to pick up here in the afternoon. And so I think the scores will be a little higher in the afternoon. Um, I got off to a little rough start. I had bogeyed three of the first four, but I, I battled and back nine was playing pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we can come back with a, a good round tomorrow. So. All right, Warren, thanks for the time. Good, good luck tomorrow. No problem. Thank you. All right, from the Quinted, we've got JJ. Kind of a tough day. Yeah, it was. Um, Tell us about your round. 
Well, the front nine was a little rough, had some big numbers, but um, I just wanted to turn around the back, you know, get, get kind of a low number out there. But uh, got three birdies on the back, so it wasn't too bad. Overall, shot an 81, but uh, I left some shots out there. Could have been worse, could have been better, but, you know, I'll take what I got, and I'll play well tomorrow. Very good. Okay, thanks for spending some time with us. Best of luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Graham, for those interviews. Now I'm back here with head coach from San Diego State, Ryan Donovan. Ryan, thanks for coming to the show today. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. What are we doing down here, Ryan? Just enjoying another beautiful day in San Diego. Another day in paradise this, down this is what here. what we huh? do. Yeah, nice. Uh, we got the San Diego Junior Masters going on, obviously, right behind me here. The kids are out there already playing. So you come down here to do a little recruiting, just to watch some kids, see what's going on? Definitely. Yeah, it's great to have, uh, have these kids in our backyard, but uh, come out and watch some great talent, uh, the up and coming stars of, of the future. Now, how long have you been the head coach at San Diego State? I've been at San Diego State for nine years. I've been the head coach for seven. All right. Dream job? Always? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Love what you're doing. Out on the golf course every day, helping players out, uh, recruiting, fundraising, so it's, it's good. And now you were a player yourself at San Diego State, right? I was. Yep, I played there from 96 to 2001. 2001, and we might know another San Diego State alum running around here that you played with. Chris Smeal. Chris Smeal, the founder of Future Champions there. Yeah, he's an ex-San Diego State alum. He's the as godfather. Well. He is the, the, the godfather. Now, you know, having played in college, does that help you with your recruiting? Knowing, I think so. Knowing the system and all that? Yeah, definitely. I, I know what uh, kind of what we went through and, and changes that, you know, we'd like to make now for, for the better of the players, so, so I think it helps. Now, what do you look for in a high school athlete? You know, the number one thing that I'm out here looking for is their, their attitude. You know, I really like to see their, their quiet confidence, we call it, um, just how they approach the game and just how they go about their, their day. You know, I don't like to see them up and down too much and, and just kind of keep love all the way through. Now, playing is a big part of it, but as, uh, grades have got to be a big part of the same factor as well. You look at both the academics and their, and their playing ability? Definitely. Yeah, school, you know, you got to be a student athlete if you want to play Division One athletics, and, um, and the grades are very important. Now, to you as a coach, you think, uh, you know, today's game is all about that power. Or you still think that, you know, you got to have a player that has some short game, or are you looking for a guy that's got a little bit of both? Yeah, no, short game is, is key. That's probably the second most important thing we're looking at here, uh, watching is their short game. I think with the equipment and the power and the strength and conditioning these guys do nowadays, you know, we can get them bigger and stronger, but um, it's hard to teach them that touch after they get to a certain point. Right, right. Now, how many times a year? I mean, season's over for you guys. We're in summer now, and how, how often are you recruiting? Uh, pretty much every week. So there's tournaments throughout the whole country. Um, I definitely am trying to stay on the West Coast right now. Uh, we'd love to get, get the players, you know, from, from the local area. Um, but uh, we got Junior World next week, and then I'm at the U.S. Junior uh, the next week after that in New Hampshire. So we're out every You're all day over watching. the place. All, all over. over the place. Now, have you ever played Carlton Oaks here? I have, yeah. Great layout. Um, you know, Pete Dye, really, really difficult, challenging track. We used to play here, um, you know, back when I played at San Diego State, and, and we bring the guys out here occasionally. Now, what's your lowest score out here? 69. 69. That's, that's yeah. about three or four lower than mine out here, but I mean, these kids are putting up some pretty impressive scores here on day one. I'm interested to see how they finish up today. Yeah, really, really good yesterday, and yeah, I'd like to see, you know, with a little bit of pressure today, how they go out and, and kind of finish their rounds. Now, do you come out with a plan? Are you looking at one or two guys, or are you just looking at the field all in general? I have somewhat of a game plan, but, um, you know, obviously I like to, to watch the last few groups and kind of see how they handle the pressure of being in contention, you know, with nine holes to play. Now, how does somebody get in contact with you? If we want to know more about the San Diego State men's program or get in contact with you, how do we do that? Yeah, definitely. Any of the colleges, actually, you can go on the website, um, you know, and go in athletics and look for their head coach, and, and there'll be an email there, and kids can fire out an email and, and pick up the phone and, and give us a call or, or call any university that's out here watching. Well, Ryan, I know you've got to go out and watch some of these guys and, and, and keep your recruiting going, and we're excited for San Diego State men's program next year. You had a great year this last year, and... Uh, and uh, we're excited to see you going, and we're going to take a short break and let you go out there, all right? I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks. Ryan, very much. Right. We'll take that break, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. We're here at Carlton Oaks, 
And now I have got the head golf professional, Chris Brown, here to talk about the golf course. Chris, thanks for coming to the show today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, Chris, golf course looks great. I mean, we got the kids finishing up here on number 18. Looks like in great shape. Yeah, it's, it's coming around. You know, we, uh, we had some rough, rough patches last year with the greens. We had to replace them in September, so they're still pretty new. They're still taking. They're still maturing. But uh, they're getting there. They're rolling true. You know, it's, it's, it's coming along. Well, I did like the additions of some of the bunkers. I know on the bunker on 17 that goes yeah. around the edge, that's a yeah. definitely tough bunker there. Yeah. And uh, um, I, as far as 18 goes, probably one of the toughest golf it finishing is. holes in it all is. of San Diego. Let's talk about that there. That, that tee shot's, you know, not too intimidating, but it's more of the second shot. There. It is the second shot, and it depends on what time of the day you're playing it. In the morning, you know, before the wind picks up, it's, you know, it's not as difficult of a hole because you get, you know, shorter club into the green, but in the afternoon, you know, if you're, if you're depending on how long you are, you could hit four, five, you know, six iron into that green. And especially if it's a back left pin where you got to carry the water, right. you know, you're, you're, you're taking a chance. Now, we saw some low scores yesterday. Oh, I, I'm thinking uh, this wind, as it picks up, as we say you're talking, I'm thinking that's probably not going to be the same for today. No, it, it shouldn't be because, yeah. you know, there, there is some longer holes out there that do play into the wind. Like you said, 18, 14, 4, you know, that, that require precise second shots. And if you, you know, get it up in the air a little bit, it could take it. OB or into the water. Well, Chris, let's tell our viewers how we can get in contact more about Carlton Oaks, about your facility here. You can check us on the website at uh, www.carltonoaksgolf.com or you can call us, you know, our phone number here to the pro shop is 619-448-8500. We'll give Chris Brown here a call. Again, he's the head golf professional down here. The golf course is in great shape. The kids are loving it. We're loving it. Chris, thanks for coming down, taking the Thank time. You. We love having them out here. Yeah, no, definitely. And we'll let you get back to your duties back in the shop there as we take another quick break, and we'll be right back. All right, joining us now is John from La Quinta. Tell us about your round, John. Uh, two big numbers today really killed me. Uh, made a lot of putts. I had 28 putts today, so I made most of my five footers and felt pretty solid in the greens. The greens were running pretty nice. But uh, just off the tee, it was just kind of struggling with me. So. All right, what's going to take to win? Uh, I'd probably say about four or five under. All right, well, thanks for spending some time with us, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right, all right now joining us is Alex, all the way down from Big Bear. How was your round, Alex? Uh, it was all right. You know, tail of two sides. I had 35 on the front and 41 on the back. So, you know, just kind of started missing some putts on the end. But, you know, it was all right. And uh, what do you think about tomorrow? What's it going to take to win? Uh, these greens, these greens are difficult. Um, you know, they're a little softer in the morning, a little harder in the afternoon. Uh, you got to, you got to chip, you got to make putts. So, it's the biggest thing. All right. Well, thanks for spending some time with us, and uh, best of luck tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Joining us now, we've got Nico, who's one of our international players in this year's event from Samoa. Yep. Tell us about your round today. Seventy-three, pretty impressive. Yeah, I've, I've had a mate. I've had a few dumb shots, but I think I pulled it through. And it's, um, it's just the conditions, of course, are amazing. Um, Got up and down on the last hole, which is pretty pretty impressive for me as well. But um, but yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a great experience. Well, you're only 16. You've got plenty of golf ahead of you, and uh, we appreciate the time you spent with us. Thank Good you. Tomorrow. Thanks. Welcome back. Well, the scores have been posted. The players have signed their cards, and we have a winner for the boys, 15 to 18. For the 2012 San Diego Junior Masters Champion is this year is Jonah Tixera. Jonah, congratulations! Oh, thank you very much. Welcome. Pleasure to be here. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> it was a it's good awesome. day out there. I mean, you had a nice two rounds there. I mean, 67, 70 for a total of 137. Yeah. Pretty impressive. It's um yeah, it was one of the best tournaments I've had so far this this year. You know. So it was, it was pretty good. Now it was nice. You came down. You guys were tied at the end, yeah. seven under, and then we won it in the third three-hole playoff. Now on that third hole, it was par five. You made birdie to win it. You're in the fairway. Any idea to lay up, or did you, were you going for it the whole time? No, um, <laughs> I was 265, you know, but my three would goes really far. So I was just like, you know, I'm just going to go for it. What the, what the heck, you know? And it unfortunately got one of the right to flag sick and just rested 10 feet past it. Now, have you ever had a win like this before in your career? Um, I don't think so. And no. where does it rank? Pretty up at the top right oh, there? Oh, yeah, top five, definitely. Now, what do you think about Carlton Oaks and the course conditions over the two days here? Yeah, it was in great shape, you know. Um, I'd like to thank Carlton Oaks for um, hosting this event. And, you know, it, um, it got a little windy out in the afternoon, you know, but it was pretty pretty cool in the morning, so it wasn't that bad. Now, you got a tough hole out there? Is that a hole that got you down the two days at all? Uh, the most intimidating hole, I think, is hole number 12, the par three. Hole number 12. Yeah, with all the wind, with the crosswind, the water on the right, you know, it, it's just one of the scariest shots you can hit 
this whole tournament. You hit a pretty good shot in there today, huh? <laughs> about 15 feet. Yeah, it was leaking towards the water, though. I was like, oh, my God. A little scary after <laughs> that. Felt good when it landed on the green there. Yeah, huh? I was like, my heart just, like, started beeping again. It was, it was fun. <laughs> it was awesome. Now, what was the easiest hole for? Is there a hole out here you really enjoy? Um, Just hole nine is pretty simple. You know, it plays like a par four. It's pretty short. You know, it's downwind, so it's it's pretty much a birdie hole. So it's, it's not bad. Now, I see you hit it long, but what's the strength of your game? What, what allows you to win a tournament like this? Um, just, uh, the reason why I won is because I wasn't, didn't make any mistakes. To stay patient? And, yeah, I stayed patient. I, um, visualized, I had, took deep breaths every hole, you know, every shot. You know, just hit fairway, hit a green, and had a chance for birdie almost every hole. So it was, it was a pretty good, uh, tournament for me. Now, do you got a pl favorite player on tour that you, li that you really like and follow? Oh, Tiger. Tiger! Oh, always Tiger. My next question was Tiger or Phil. So, a Tiger it is, huh? Yeah. Tiger. Always from the beginning, Tiger, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, you like that he's starting to win again there? I know. He, he's starting to come back. Hopefully, he wins a major. Yeah, hopefully, he can get a major there. Now, what are your future plans uh, coming up? Well, um, I got Junior Worlds next week, and then I also have uh, the week after that is Genesis, okay. Saquon for AJGA, and um, I think I have a U.S. amateur qualifier at the farms. Now, yeah. now Jonah. We gonna go to college? Or are we thinking pro? What? What's the idea? Well, uh, I committed USC. Good for you! Congratulations. Yeah, right. So I don't, I don't know how it's gonna. You're gonna go to USC uh, and get some academics oh, yeah, and go play and see how that goes. Play for the team and see how it goes and see if I can, if I'm good enough or not. <laughs> well, pro. well, by the scores you shot today, you're definitely good enough, Jonah. We we appreciate you taking the time and oh, and uh, talking to us today on here on the couch. Yeah. You know your 2012 San Diego Junior Masters, Jonah Texera here. Congratulations, Jonah. Thank Thanks you. for watching our show today, and always remember to. Top it off. Great job, great job. Hee <laughs> hee!